Well, from our initial studies of rewarming patients coming out of surgery, uh, hypothermic patients due to anesthesia, uh, and rewarming them in the recovery room was a real challenge, and we tackled that. But the realization from that work was that we were actually using a mammalian adaptation for heat loss in reverse. We were taking this adaptation for convecting heat from the core of the body to the glabrous skin uh, to be dissipated to the environment, uh, and we were just pushing it in reverse, pushing heat in through that avenue. We developed an appreciation for the role of these AVA structures in temperature regulation, their dominant role in temperature regulation, and that their primary role was not to deliver heat to the core, but was to, to deliver heat from the core to the peripheral environment and we learned how to exploit that. So we decided to uh, investigate the ability to treat hyperthermia, to be able to pull heat out of the body. Uh, and in order to do that, we had to have someone overheated. So our lab assistant, uh, Vin Cow, was a gym rat. And uh, we said, well, why don't you do your work out in the lab and we will then, after you're overheated, we will just measure the heat transfer that we can accomplish by applying this device to your glabrous skin. We standardized the protocol that he did 10 sets of pull-ups to muscle failure with three minute rests. And that way we would get his core temperature up and at the end of the 10 sets, we would apply our devices and measure the heat transfer out of his body. And one day, for no reason, after we had cooled him, he went back to the pull-up bar and he did the same number of pull-ups as in his first set. And we said, holy crow, what does that mean? That means that the muscle fatigue is largely due to the rise in temperature of the muscle. So we then started cooling him after every other set of pull-ups. As a result, his total work volume went up from one day to the next by about 25%, if I recall. Over this six-week period, he had started doing about 100 pull-ups total, and at the end of the six weeks, he was doing 180. Now, if you went to the gym every day, uh, or every other day, uh, and you did your heavy workout, you might achieve that kind of a result. But then in the next six weeks, when we were cooling him after every other set of pull-ups, he went from 180 to 618. Can you imagine doing 618 pull-ups in about an hour? Unbelievable. So that told us that what we were doing was enabling an increase in work volume, and that increase in work volume has the effect of physical conditioning. The fact that we saw a huge increase, increase in performance capacity by simply cooling an individual between bouts of exercise was, holy cow, what have we got here?